40 is Wendy Garvin Mayo, on whom we are bestowing the Eleanor K. Gill Outstanding Alumni Award for Clinical Excellence in Nursing. The Gill Award is given to an alumnus who embodies the dedication to clinical excellence and the teaching of others as was characterized by the School of Nursing's second dean. Wendy exemplifies his spirit in her clinical work as an adult nurse practitioner, a stress management consultant, certified life coach trainer, speaker, and author. Ms. Garvin Mayo, will you please join me at the podium? Thank you. I am honored to receive this award um, on behalf of Eleanor K. Gill uh, for my excellence in clinical practice. Um, I'm honored to be here with all of you today. Um, and I want to thank the dean who's not able to be here, our associate deans, our faculty, um, and the School of Nursing. And I want to congratulate the class of 2022. And I want you to know that you have picked one of the best professions on the planet. Your nursing career will be so dynamic and it will be what you make it. As you launch into your workforce, our workforce, I know many of you may be thinking about your dream job. Many of you may have been hired in your dream job. I want to tell you a quick little story about my dream job. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So there was a time in 2007 when I returned to graduate school here at UConn to pursue my master's to get my nurse practitioner degree. Because I wanted to obtain my dream job of becoming an oncology nurse practitioner working in that outpatient setting, serving cancer patients. That was my motivation to come back to school. That was my motivation to finish school. And in 2010, I finished my degree. And a few years after that, I obtained my dream job. I worked in an outpatient setting in Hartford, a community practice. I was the only nurse practitioner there. And I loved it. I was so full. I would get up early, go to work. I was the nurse that came in saying, good morning. How are you? How was your weekend? I made my rounds to all my colleagues. And it may have been annoying, but that really shows that I was just full and so happy. I love my patients. I love you know, their family members. They really become your family. And um, it was such a joy just to obtain that level of um, excellence, I would say. I would stay in the office late. Um, I would be home late, but I was looking at my charts because it was important to me to really serve my patients. And then one day, Don, who is a sales representative or a drug rep, as you may know them, he would come to the office to provide us with education on different chemotherapies and patient education. He was walked by my office one day and said, Wendy, you would make a great medical science liaison. And I said, oh, I don't know what that is. So I'm working my dream job and I have no interest in leaving what I'm doing. A few months later, he comes back, walking by my office, and he says, Wendy, you would make a great medical science liaison. I said, okay, we both laughed and nodded. A few months later, he came into my office and sat down and said, Wendy, my company is looking for a medical science liaison in Connecticut, and I want to refer you. And I said, OK. He said, but you have to apply. I said, OK, I can do that. <laughs> so he leaves my office, and I'm not thinking anything of it. So that night, I get home, and what do I do? What is a medical science liaison, <laughs> right? I go to Google. I have no idea. So I learned that a medical science liaison is a um, clinical expert who really is a liaison between the pharmaceutical company and providers. So you take the clinical research that the company's doing 
and you relay that information to the provider so they can enroll patients in clinical trials. And it was still in oncology, so it felt good, right? And in my research, I found that in order to be a medical science liaison, you had to have a doctorate degree. So PharmDs or PhDs, and I was like, yes, this is great. I don't have a doctorate degree, right? So they're not gonna wanna hire me. So I applied because I told Dawn I would. Went through the interview process, probably one of the hardest interview process, processes that I have, I have been through in my career. And they actually called me to offer me the job. And I cried. And I said, Wendy, what did you do? You was working your dream job. Why did you even entertain this opportunity? So I seeked counsel from my attendings in my office, my friends, my family, and I made the decision to leave my dream job in clinical practice and enter the pharmaceutical industry. And I have to tell you, it was one of the best decisions of my life. Entering the pharmaceutical industry as a medical science liaison, as a nurse, I was able to bring a different perspective. I was able to tap into abilities I didn't even know I had. I was leading teams, starting initiatives. I had a wider impact. I had an impact on the nation. There was so much I discovered about myself. And those skills that I learned and discovered about myself as a MSL or medical science liaison, I was able to use that in starting my own business. So I left my dream job and I got so much more. We have a tendency as individuals to sometimes put a lid on our opportunities and potential. Whatever that lid may be for you, it could be limiting beliefs like I had, it can be stress, it can be imposter syndrome, but we have to make decisions that can change our lives. Because today you graduate with your nursing degree, and that's for you. But this degree is not about you. It's about the people you are going to serve. It's about the lives you're going to touch. It doesn't matter if you're in an outpatient setting, if you're in an inpatient setting, if it doesn't matter about your title, it doesn't matter about your stethoscope color, your scrubs, your lab coat, that stuff doesn't matter. Your dream job is anywhere you are. And that can be done outside of a healthcare institution. How many of you have ever not made a decision because of the lid that you had on your potential? How many of you, am I alone? Yeah, yeah, we all do it, we all do it. So I wanna let you know that as you launch your nursing journey, that you are the light that the world needs. You are the light that's gonna illuminate compassion, care, and hope for the individuals that you come beside. And it's not only patients, as nurses, we are able to impact all lives, all people, so much potential because it is a dynamic profession. And I'm so excited to welcome you all into the profession. And I personally look forward to seeing you be your best, do your best, and give your best as you leave your footprints on this world. Thank you.